My man Zar make tracks like this. What's going on y'all? I want to show you how to use invert selection in Studio One. Uh, this is really helpful when you want to move all of the events in a session except for specific ones. So with this session here, let's say for example, I want to take a part of this hook. I only get the pieces of you. Let's say I want to take that and move it to the very beginning of the session and have it just play a cappella. So generally what you would do is select them all, copy them to the front of the session, and then select all, just move that a little bit, and then select these again and move them back. And then I've got them as an acapella at the beginning of the session. I only get the pieces of you. But with invert selection, we can save some steps there. So back to where I started. So to use invert selection, which is a command I on a Mac, I'm going to select the ones that I don't want selected, invert selection. And now you'll notice that it has selected all of the events in the set in the session except for the ones I want. So to use this the way I want to use it here to do this, we will copy that back to the front of the session. And then I'll use the invert selection to deselect what I don't want moved and select everything else move it, and I've got the same result in a less step. I only get the pieces of you. So there's a quick tip for you. Uh, this also works with uh, MIDI notes and in instrument tracks. You can use it there. It's a really nice feature in Studio One to be able to invert the selection. Uh, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I want to invite everyone to check out my new podcast, The Faders Up Podcast. It's a podcast about pro audio. I've got me and three other Nashville professionals. We're discussing pro audio, pro audio topics, pro audio lifestyle. And it's available on Apple Podcasts, and it's available on Spotify. So check it out, rate it, let me know what you think.